Welcome back to another vlog. I'm really forcing myself to smile and talk right now because my throat is hurting so bad. It quite literally feels like I've been gargling nails for the past 24 hours. I just left the nail salon and I honestly did not feel like going, but I did not want to cancel my nail appointment because I hated my nails the last time I got them done, but I forced myself to keep them for two weeks because I also don't love going to the nail salon back to back and i had already spent hours there so anyway got like a valentine's day set kind of it's just red um i didn't want to get anything with hearts on it because i only get my nails done once a month they came out really cute she ate down and she did not take long and i'm grateful because i was literally holding in all of my coughs because i didn't want to be coughing all over the place <sighs> i'm getting me some soup i didn't even know panera i keep wanting to say pandora i didn't even know panera sold hot tea got the honey ginseng ginseng tea and um broccoli cheddar soup which always kind of makes me a little sad because it reminds me of my grandma it was one of her favorite soups to get here or it was her favorite soup to get here at um panera i keep wanting to say pandora <sighs> the last time i talked to you guys i think i was telling y'all that i started feeling a little bit sick well baby from there we took the sharpest of the climb i literally fell ill i think that same night or the next night the next day was so bad i was down bad like down for the count had to get help taking the girls to school the whole night today was my first day back to work it's monday i'm so glad to be feeling better i don't sound better i still sound congested but i feel a lot better i still have a cough though and <clears throat> some phlegm i did take a covid test i don't have covid i could have possibly had the flu i don't know i was also not going anywhere so don't worry nobody else was getting my germs i was literally in my room which is why i really didn't pick y'all up because i felt like shit and then when i felt better i wasn't doing anything because i was in my room the lighting's probably not the best in here i rushed home from work today so that i could give the girls their valentine's day baskets because we have like stuff every other day before valentine's day which is wednesday and i really want them to like be able to open it and see what they have and just enjoy it and i wanted to be able to capture it and also maybe even get a picture even though this is definitely not as cute as i wanted it to be but we just go go with it losing lighting and the lighting in my room gets so bad so we're gonna really quickly put their baskets together this in my head was a lot cuter but we just gonna make it do what it do honestly we just gonna leave it and yeah we are officially in the terrible lighting era of the day so i didn't really film also my camera was going dead so i put that battery on and i think this battery has like one bar left so this is what I came up with. I'll flip y'all around so y'all can see. But yeah, I didn't really show you guys the process or what I put in there. Um, yeah. I'm trying to talk why they already knew what I was in here doing because there's really no way for me to hide it. I really wanted to come home and do this before they got home. So it would have turned out probably cuter and also better lighting. But it is what it is, you guys. Like, 
I'm not going to beat myself up over this. I was getting annoyed while making it because it's not coming together the way I wanted it to. But at the end of the day, it's for them. So they're going to love it. But I put some balloons here and back there. And then I have baskets for the girls and then a little bag for my niece, Shiloh. And yeah, I tried to take some pictures too, but they're also not coming out that good. But I just took it for the vibes and for the mems, I guess. <laughs> Stay 50 feet and falling fast With eyes so big I run but can't escape the past and Those phony faces made me never wanna grow up And to this day I swear I'm never going back My aura up, stay warm like apple pie My mind stays stuck, stuck like it's cold outside it makes you wonder what can make a nigga so rough So wear and tear be hard to bear but disappears when you I just finished getting my toes done and no I did not take y'all in obviously because y'all not seen me get my nails done and I ain't vlogged that much since then like hardly at all I'm trying to decide right now what I'm about to go do because I have a few things that I really wanted to do before tonight and then there's some things that I can do tomorrow but I don't know what time the girls will be back tomorrow I don't even know if I said it but the girls are gone they're spending time with their cousins so I don't have them all weekend which is rare but it's nice so um yeah my pedicure came out so cute literally adorable i haven't had my feet done in an ungodly amount of time that we will not speak of i'm i was so tired of cutting myself my feet was feeling like, feeling like i was rubbing two pieces of sandpaper together i'm not even kidding but i'm trying to decide right now what i'm gonna go do because i originally wanted to go to ulta and i was gonna make it a whole moment film a tiktok get a bubble tea while i was over there because i haven't had one in so long but now i'm just kind of like mm, i could do that tomorrow the only problem is, is i wanted to go to ulta specifically to get some makeup products because i don't have anything i all i have is foundation i don't have mascara i ran out of blush not even kidding let me show y'all my blush right now like babe I've, I've, I've i got my money's worth let's just put it that way i've used all that there is to use do y'all see that there's nothing left there's nothing left and this is the fenty cream blush i love me a good cream product now i do need to incorporate some powders like there's a translucent powder that i was gonna get i think from either elf or nyx do know that i need at least another eyebrow pencil blush and a mascara and maybe a setting powder and a primer um so that's why i wanted to go to ulta however i also wanted to go to target in hopes of finding a pair of jeans and a cute top to wear tonight i I don't know y'all i think we're just gonna go to target and i was also gonna go to ross because the girls need more panties and i was also gonna see if they have any shoes there for them um truthfully mila really doesn't need that many shoes because she still has shoes that she hasn't worn from like i just got her a pair of brand new nikes for christmas i mean santa just got her she doesn't she that girl does not believe in santa no more and i'm trying to keep it keep santa's name alive in her eyes and she's just like mm -mm, not buying it anywho she just got a new pair of nikes for christmas that she probably has worn a total of five times so i haven't been really feeling inclined to buy her new shoes because she has shoes that she can rotate through zara outgrew all of them she's a size nine and so that's what size she had in all her shoes and now she's a 10 and so her uggs like i told you on the last vlog are completely screwed like i'm not even gonna try to fix them they're just out of there and then she got some new chunky filas that are really cute she's been wearing the hell out of those too so i need to get her some more shoes before her filas look like that she walked the underground railroad in them so i also really need to get me some shoes just to have shoe options because i really genuinely don't know what happened to all of my little like flip flops and sandals i feel like i bought so many pair last year and I don't know where any of them are. Granted, they could be packed up in the garage somewhere, but I'm pretty sure I found my shoe box where I had all those things. So I don't know. We're just gonna see, no pressure, because I don't, I'm not in dire need for any of those. And you know, if I don't find anything for any of us, it's not a huge deal. But I did wanna go to Ross while I didn't have the kids. My girls are well behaved, but you know, it's a big difference between having kids and not having kids and now i can actually look at home decor because they don't be trying to look at that we just be looking at toys and the stuff that they want to look at i already filmed this clip so i don't know what i have and haven't said but i have dinner plans with my friend tonight which is why i wanted to go to target as well to look for something to wear i'm pretty sure i already said that i don't know y'all just bear with me okay bear with me
so i tried this dress on this is a part of their like black history month collection and i don't really like it like i feel like off of the hanger it's or on the hanger it's cuter but i don't feel like it does anything for me and then this part is not it's just not no so i also tried on a denim like jumpsuit before this it did not fit so i have a top and some jeans that i'm gonna try on and see if any of it can work because this no no okay hopefully y'all can see but i tried on these jeans and i'm actually like they fit i'm very surprised i mean obviously there's the whole don't look at the shirt the whole back gap situation but but yeah these are actually a size 20 which is surprising because i have not tried on jeans in forever so i like the jeans i'm unsure about the top like it's part of the black history month collection so i was trying to buy something from there to wear so was that dress but i don't know i feel like it almost needs to be smaller i don't know i really wanted something pink um i also put my hair up because i'll be wearing it in like a, mu a messy bun with big earrings <sighs> with like a heel i feel like it could be cute like but is it like girls night cute you know i could have like i guess a more casual moment i don't really know like i don't know I'm unsure about the top. I think I'm definitely getting the jeans. I don't even want to try on any other jeans. I really like these jeans. And I could wear these to work because the rips are minimal. I'm in my room, obviously, and the lighting is horrible, so I have my ring light, so hopefully you guys will be able to see everything. I'm actually in a rush because I need to start getting ready. I don't think it's going to take me that long, but I also need to go by Target because I did a drive-up order for some earrings that I want to wear for tonight because I really don't have any that I feel like would fit the vibe. I've decided I'm going to Uber there just because if I do drink, I really don't feel like driving home. Like, I just would rather not. Um, I'm going to show y'all what I got at Ross really quick. I ended up showing y'all in the car, but my footage was so bad from my car. I don't know what is going on with my camera. So hopefully this is better. And my camera is literally dying. Oh, it's dying. Okay, we all go quick. Hopefully it'll last. So from Ross, I got some random stuff. I went in there looking for shoes for the kids really shoes for all of us and i really didn't see nothing in there so i just got other random stuff i knew i wanted a new pair of slippers so i got this cutesy pair they look giant because they are their size 10 11 i'm a size 9 but i like a little extra room now that my toes are done i think they're supposed to be out every five seconds so got those we definitely gonna run out of time y'all i got these cute neutral headbands because my braids are on their last leg but we gonna make it do what it do until our next style so you already know we are braids old and you be in the headband era yeah okay um randomly i saw this cowgirl t-shirt for zara and i thought it was so cute especially with b announcing her cowgirl era i felt like this was really cute also saw this random pill case um y'all i don't know if y'all can see it I always have some kind of like ibuprofen, Excedrin in my purse. Just thought that would be good to have. And then I think that's it from Raw. I also ended up buying this sweater while I was in there because my shirt kept falling off my shoulders and it was showing my bra and it was driving me insane. So yeah, I bought this and changed out of that like pink outfit that you guys saw me in earlier. Really cute actually, but I just grabbed it because it was like neutral and I feel like I'll actually wear it. <sighs> okay, I switched the battery. I don't really know if this one's actually full because one of these like aftermarket type batteries that i have will say that it's full and then it will die so we got a whole bunch of elf stuff so we gonna rapid fire got this elf blush this is in the color pinky promise and i looked up reviews for this blush while i was in target on tiktok and it looks to be pretty pigmented so i got it like i said in the color pinky promise i got a wet and wild eyebrow pencil in the color dark brown for my eyebrows obviously i got some hd powder by elf as well because I'm trying to be in my makeup era, but I'm also, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm not about to buy the expensive stuff yet. I'm not even going to lie. So yeah, I got the little powder puff thing to apply the powder. I also got a setting spray. I got the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Mist. So we'll see how I end up liking that. Something not makeup related is this like sample set. I already opened it. I was letting my mom smell it. And I really only got this because there's a scent in here that I want, but they're not selling it online. It's the pistachio 
please it smells just like Sol de, Sol de Janeiro I got the sampler set I already have not another cherry which is a dupe for the Tom Ford oh can we say that it's similar to the Tom Ch Tom Ford lost cherry so also got a new mascara this is the telescopic l'oreal one this is the one i used to use like way back in the gap like in high school i was so close to booking myself a lash appointment today y'all but i was like you know what my lashes are healthy and my retention is not that good anyway so i might as well just try to work with what i have and then if i end up going back to lash extensions then i just thing i got is just this camo concealer i don't even know if this is the right color for me we're gonna see i don't know i'm not completely ignorant to makeup but i'm definitely not anybody to give anybody any type of makeup tips or anything of that nature i did figure out what i'm gonna wear i have my outfit over there i'm gonna wear the jeans that you guys saw and also a sweater that i already had that was actually my grandma i still don't know what bag i'm gonna wear with it though i'm gonna go probably look at my mom's closet i hope i'm in focus i really do because my camera i don't know if i dropped it i don't know but it's just doing weird things so yeah i'm about to go ahead and get dressed so that i can try to get there as close to time as possible our reservation is until nine so it's probably for the best that we're shooting to get there early because i probably won't be there early. <laughs> i'm just keeping it 100 okay
Hey y'all, it's Sunday and y'all, I am so annoyed right now. Like, Okay, y'all, I'm finna start trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear to brunch. But I had to show y'all something that's so embarrassing. I finally ordered myself a new Skims bra. Y'all, I ordered my first Skims bra back in 2020, I'm pretty sure. Like, it was while I still lived in my first apartment. And when I tell you that has been my daily bra, and I know... I know how bad that is, but I just had to show y'all because I'm finally going to let her go because I ordered a new one, but like, can y'all see that? I'm embarrassed, but I also wanted y'all to see that these bras really be like, this is, y'all don't understand. Like, this is the part that would be like right here and, 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 and look at this. I, and I wore this last night. Like, I'm not even lying to you. I had this bra on last night. Look at this, like it's, hello, like you can, and this is, this is not supposed to be like that. You're not supposed to be able to put your whole hand inside. So yeah, we're going to host a formal goodbye, funeral, farewell to this Skims bra. She did me well. I'm going to finally transition to this new one. I got it from Nordstrom. If you didn't know that Nordstrom sells skims, where have you been? So if you want to like see some in-person skims that you never ordered, even I feel like we've all ordered from skims at this point, then go visit Nordstrom because they have skims in store. So you can shop and not have to wait for yourself. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a bra. And I literally don't know what took me so long, y'all. Like if you ask me, I don't know. I'm a very much so I hate replacing stuff is I think my problem I don't like rebuying things and unless it's like actually broken or actually dysfunctional I won't replace it so yeah that's kind of a problem that I have a new one here's what she looks like she's very cute I got a brown color because I'm brown obviously not this brown but I feel like it would flatter me more and have a little bit more versatility so if I have like on a shirt where you can see my bra, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because it's like closer to my skin color and not like a nude color. Well, it's like nude for y'all get the point. So anyway, here's the bra. I don't think this is the same one as that one, even though I really don't know because that one is so chewed. I don't have anything to compare it to. I tried to go back way back when I ordered that specific order. I don't know if they even. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I couldn't find it. So anyway, um, I got it in a size three X, and this is the color cocoa. But yeah, I'm about to finally put her on for the first time. And yeah, <laughs> I tried to show y'all my old one because anytime anybody would see it, like if I were changing for my mom, my sister, my aunt, they'd be like, girl, what, what what's happening with this bra? And it's low-key kind of killing me to throw it away. Like I'm just sitting here looking at it like what if I don't like this bra like the way I like that one. Anyway, I'm about to get dressed and figure out what I'm going to put on. And I'll talk to y'all in a minute. I didn't plan on coming in here, now I gotta... Mm. Okay, that one. Uh, leave it there. That rose? That's just telling me I like that one. That rose? It's a really beautiful scent. Young rose. That what rose? Does this one smell like? So this one, it'll be more of rose watery. Let's um, try it. It also has some pepper in there. Ah. Is that? Wait, I didn't even smell it. Oh, <laughs> what is this one? Cedar? Rose of Noah. Mmm. Mmm, not my favorite. Let's see the blanche. Is it blanche? Blanche. Blanche. Hi, y'all. Hi, Miss Noah. Oh, my gosh. Miss Noah is treating me so perfect. I don't think I can leave the rose. Do y'all have that in stock? The yummers? Mm-hmm. 
so okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so far for me, I like all the fresh ones. Yeah. I like this. Oh, that, I kind of like that one. I like the rose the most, though. Yeah. I don't think I smelled the Balda Freak, or did I? I don't remember. Alright, so we're gonna do the full size young rose. The full size young rose, please. Um, I don't think so. I told her I didn't want to come in here because I was like, I. Yeah, I'm like, I don't need to be in here. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I don't even know there was. Okay, okay. Okay. It was inspired by. Monday y'all today is president's day so the kids are out of school today which means we're at home and I just dragged this big old ginormous box into my room because um I had a nightstand sent to me that I'm gonna show you guys and tell you guys a little bit more about but um it's been sitting here for like two weeks I got it right before I got sick and then I've just been so busy so I'm home today so I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we're gonna see if we can use any of the drawers in this nightstand for like overflow clothes because i have so many clothes on my bed from us getting our laundry service and i don't have enough room to put them anywhere we do have like a new dresser situation coming in so this will just be temporary until that gets here but i also just have been wanting to open this to see what it looks like because i still have my old nightstands i'll show you guys over there um i still have those from my very first apartment literally got them on marketplace for two for five dollars they were an amazing steal i've loved them for all this time but one of them is broken and it's just time i need more space for all my things so we're gonna open this up hopefully it's already put together because if not baby it's gonna have to wait because i do not feel like doing that right now um but yeah we've just been chilling we did a lot of cleaning this morning so that's really what we've been doing i have clothes all over my bed it is not as bad as it looks this stuff is like the stuff that i'm trying to find space for and then these items i ordered some hangers from target because we don't have enough hangers so once our drive up order is ready i'll be able to put all that stuff away but realistically i probably won't do that until later i'm trying to keep y'all a little bit far back because i look crazy having washed my face or anything today literally just crusty just walk around crusty but this i'm at the house so let me try to open this it says don't open with a sharp object but also like how am i supposed to open it i got some kid scissors so i feel like those are not too sharp so about to be a whole situation it looks like it's already built though so that could be nice it looks like it's already built. girls no you cannot come in right now i'll let you come in after i take it out of the box oh it's already built nice 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 <gasps>
your ankle. I got y'all on my beaver strap on. Um. I'm trying to think about like what it is I want to do that. So I'm going to go in there. I also cook, I cook stuff. But I'm not really cooking it. I also cook cabbage um, and green beans. Mm. So, yeah, I'm going to eat that and just chill. We're doing speed boats today because at 220 we have the um the what's it, what is it called? 220 is the speed boat, and that's gonna be about three hours. So just to well, Dion is in here. He's kayaking. So I will cheers to y'all, the single girls, the girls in the relationship. Okay, you guys, so I'm done putting together the nightstand and I put on my tchotchkes that I had on my old nightstand. This is such an upgrade to this space. So I just wanted to thank Hernest again for sending this over to me because I have been needing a more beefy nightstand that actually has storage in it. I really have been needing all the storage as possible. My old nightstand was just so cluttered because all of this was on top of it and I was just making it work. But now I actually have drawers. In those drawers, I've already gone and put a few things. So I'm really happy about that. I'm also loving that I didn't didn't really have to put anything together all I have to do is put the feet on the nightstand which you guys will see in the picture that I, I post and then also the handles were screwed on but they were facing the inside so I just had to screw them on the correct way I'm loving the gold I just love the whole vibe of this it's a lot more like substantial and beefy than it looks um and i'm really happy i know that this is definitely something that i'm gonna have for a long time just because of the quality of the furniture you could just tell like it's not something that's gonna fall apart soon like i said i'm so glad it came assembled because one thing about it i am not the best <laughs> at assembling things but this was perfect for somebody like me who is not the best or just doesn't have the patience to sit there and put together a million and one pieces so if you're looking for a quick and easy nightstand, I definitely recommend this one. I love the detailing on the front, the gold. It's just such like a classy vibe. I love it so much. Like I said, the drawers are so nice and deep. But yeah, y'all, the drawers are so nice and deep. I already have put a few of my clothes in here. And y'all already know, like, I'm a plus size person. So for my clothes to be able to fit in here is so, so nice. I don't think I'm going to leave my clothes in here. I am expecting a dresser. But for now, I have gone ahead and put some of my clothes in here. They do have like more of like a soft clothes on them but yeah I love the pulls on the drawers like y'all like y'all can see like these are very deep drawers I have sweats in this drawer pajamas like all of my like lounge pants and then down here I just have some of my overflow item like my overflow skims I really didn't organize this the best that I could because my clothes are not gonna stay here I just needed something in the meantime to hold my clothes while I'm waiting on um, my new dresser but yeah y'all I'm very happy and pleased with the quality and y'all can see like this is not no little flimsy like come on this is this is really good quality I pretty much have the same decor as I've been having on top of it I just have my lamp my books and then my little alarm clock and my candle and then my jewelry holder and my coaster I'll probably end up getting a new lamp because I don't like to mix metals and this is definitely a lot more silver than it is gold but it'll work for now I really just wanted to put this together this is just so much more space and i love it so much i can fit so much more stuff on here i can have my water cup and my drink and my bible and just have so much more things i can put like a hand cream i'm really excited and i really love it so once again thank you to hernis for sending this over to me i do have a discount code i believe it's janae i will have it across the screen and in the description box down below for you guys to get money off your order and all of the links and everything will be in the description down below okay y'all so yesterday when me and my mom went out to brunch we were actually at the north park mall in Dallas and when we walked in I saw Byredo and I was like mama I don't know what I said but I basically said I don't want to go in there because there's an expensive perfume in there that I really want and I told her she would love it 
and of course she beeline she was like well let's go in and so we go in and the people there were so nice the workers were really friendly and i really did not expect to buy anything because i knew how much the fragrance was because i've looked it up and i've been eyeballing it it is definitely something that is on my wish list it's been on my wish list since last year because i really struggle with big purchases I just feel like i have buyer's remorse for so long after i have after I buy whatever it is but then I just always end up loving whatever it is and so I forget that I even paid that much for it so I literally had buyers remorse buying this camera like anything that has been like hundreds into the thousands of dollars I literally feel physically ill after I buy it so anyway um yeah we're in the store I think I showed you guys a little bit of the store I didn't know if they were gonna let me vlog but the ladies in there were super nice really sweet really patient because my mom is the most picky perfume person and I didn't know all this time um but yeah we smelled so many scents I ended up not even liking the one that I thought I liked because I had used one of my friends um by Rado. I think it was the gypsy water and I liked it at the time it was either the gypsy water or the I don't remember there was another one but I think I liked it at the time but in the store it just was not hitting the same um and there was also another one that I thought I was really gonna love but it did not end up liking either I don't remember the name y'all so hopefully I was able to kind of show in the vlog but we smelled so many different perfumes I did end up making a purchase ah! I'm so excited because y'all literally if my mama wasn't there I would have walked out empty-handed she like pushes me not in a bad way but she's like you might as well get it it's blah 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 you know like it's like a good i don't know y'all i don't know how to explain it I, I will ball out boss of the wall when i'm with my mama but if i'm by myself i'm like mm -mm. i don't know what it is it, it might just be you just need a little push because there'll be stuff that i really like and i just won't ever get it and we'll just want it for forever i don't know like i talk myself out of everything all the time and it's a lot of stuff that i want and i just talk myself out of getting it so i was like you know what let's just get it so i did not get the scent that i thought i was gonna get but i just had so yeah i just had to show you guys that i did make my first like i guess this is the most expensive perfume i've ever bought like this was almost 300 dollars, and it yeah so um they did give us some samples and i still have all of the like cards where we were smelling everything in my purse um, so here is actually a small sample of the one that I bought. It's the Young Rose. And I had never heard anybody really talk about this one. And it smelled so good. My mom loved it too. Another one that I liked that she gave me a sample of was the uh, De Los Santos. And um, this is like a more intense Santal. And it has some other notes in it that make it a lot more woody. A lot more like have that like woodsy undertone it's definitely more woody than musk and i feel like santal 30 i don't remember which santal is the one that i like but um it has less of a musk so this i would say their scents are more like earthy if that makes any sense at all so my mom did not like this one but i did so when i go get another one it will likely be the de los santos because i think that I would wear that one a lot like especially in the fall it just gives like fireside vibes there's another sample in here this might be the one that my mama liked oh mojave ghost so that was the one that i liked as well and that i thought i was gonna want to go with um if i didn't go with the gypsy water but i ended up liking the rose one what is it called young rose that's what i ended up going with and then she gave us lots of samples we got some samples of some what is this lipstick and then um what is this oh her card as well so i did go ahead and open up an account with them so that whenever i want to go back all of my stuff is there and they can just charge me and i don't have to like bring my card and all that inside and here she is y'all oh my god i'm so excited i think i'm gonna do an actual unboxing on tiktok so make sure you guys follow me over there i will link it down in the description box down below i'm pretty sure it's already linked but i did have um i did make a new tiktok account last year so if you haven't followed my new one make sure you go check it out but i'm so excited to wear this and open it to finally have something that i've been like having on my wish list even though it's not the scent that i thought i was going to want to go with i'm so glad i went in store and smelled it and didn't just blind buy it like i was going to so many times but anyway yeah she was high she was a pretty penny and i'm so excited and i have to show you guys what i ended up getting so if you have a byredo store near you definitely go in and check it out and smell the scents they are so patient they have so many scents that i didn't know they had they had a scent called 1996 which is actually my birth year and they were like oh well 
let's see if you like it because it's it was inspired by like some photo that she ended up showing us it was a really cool concept i didn't end up liking that scent it was very powdery and very like specific you would have to smell it to see but i smelled so many we ha there was like a black saffron one i think that it was called and my mom really liked that one so i it was nice knowing what scents my mom likes as well because mother's day is coming up and other things are coming up like her birthday so if i want to get her a fragrance then i'll know which one she likes so yeah i thought that was really cool i was really happy to go in it was definitely super unexpected but i was so happy and i was just like i cannot freaking believe i am done with my clothes for now i still have clothes on my bed but i haven't gone to get the hangers and i probably won't go and to get them later my mom is gone to go pick up her car from the shop so when she gets back we're all gonna go to get froyo um i asked her if she wanted to come well the girls asked her and she said yeah so She's never really come to get Froyo with us, and um, I thought that would be a cute thing for us to go do. Since we really haven't done anything, and that's honestly probably all we're going to do because I'm tired and I want to relax a little bit. The girls need to take a bath and get ready for school tomorrow. That's also why I was, like, hard-pressed on getting all the clothes put away because I, my weeks be feeling real, real hectic when my space is not how it wants to be, so, um, yeah. My bad y'all my camera of course died but i finally have extra batteries so we back in business um i was gonna do like a little what's in my purse with y'all and kind of show y'all this bag because i didn't get the chance to show you guys it in the last vlog and baby she has been my newest obsession i am obsessed with this bag it is a dupe it is not a replica it's a dupe okay so this is a dupe for the pauline bag i initially saw this bag on tiktok and i knew i knew a few things i knew i was never going well I, let me not say never i knew i was not gonna buy the real bag anytime soon because yeah it's a few hundred dollars and i just i don't know i'd be wanting to do other stuff with my money literally searched high and low on amazon i was like there has to be a dupe of this bag this was the only one that i found and at the time it only had one re review i said i was going to go back and add my review because it's just so good so here's the bag they do have different colors i do think i'm going to order in a black color just so that i can have choices and i'm also scared that like it's going to get taken down because it is like such a close like looking back to the pauline bag but i think that it is a really cute bag it's versatile it's mature looking it's very classy very sleek just the era of life that i'm really wanting to lean into especially as i am getting closer to 30 i just feel like i just really want to get more timeless things that are more simplistic but are her statement pieces so i really like this bag so oh my god i keep messing with my hair y'all because it looks crazy i look crazy it just I can't believe I'm on camera like this. And if any of y'all want to get this bag, I will have it linked in the description box down below. I will tell you it is not on Prime. So please do not expect this thing to come in two or three days. It took a week and a half for me to get this bag. So please keep that in mind. I think there might be a color that is on Amazon Prime. It might be black. I don't remember, but I know this specific color is not Prime. It does come with a strap that I haven't used just yet. I haven't figured out if I want to use it or not, but I just leave it in the back so I don't lose it. But it does come with a little strap, so if y'all want to use that. But yeah, it's just a big pocket. I have a lot of shit in here. That's why I was like, let's just clean it out and do a what's in my bag. But it has one little, y'all can't even see, it has one little pocket over here. That's pretty much all it has. So, anywho, let's just get into it and see what the heck I got in here because I really need to clean it out. I do not like keeping a junky purse, especially when I have this little of a bag. I need to get this cleaned up. Okay, so the first thing I have is some trash. This was actually in my little car kit. It is Excedrin, and yes, I've already used all of these little tablets so that can go in the trash i have my glasses in here that i already showed you guys last time these little blue light glasses i've been really loving these at work so i keep them in this sleeve because my other pair i didn't really protect and they got all scratched sorry yeah and then i have oh i have these sunglasses i'm gonna end up like giving these away or throwing them away because they just I don't know or maybe i'll keep them but i just feel like i cannot ever find anything that goes well with these i just feel like i look crazy every time i said i was gonna wait until i got like a bust down middle part or just like very straight hair or just longer hair i guess to see if i like them but they were so cute on this girl on tiktok i immediately went to go buy them and i they don't look good on me oh i got this at ross the other day it's a little pill case 
and it's magnetic so it opens hold on let me take my hands out these thumb holes i be feeling like it'd be about to jerk my thumb off so it's cute but um but yeah i went ahead and already filled it up with my pills but this is just a magnetic pill case so i have basically all pain pills just different kinds so i have excedrin tylenol ibuprofen and then these are actually my allergy pills those are the really the only medications that you'll ever really find me taking unless i'm actually sick i have this perfume or body mist it's the finery not another cherry this is the the i guess the target version of the tom ford lost cherry it smells so good i love having this with me because i don't know i feel like anytime i look it together this just makes me feel like i smell good look good feel good you know um i have a scrunchie this is one of the girls little sherpa scrunchies y'all my camera ran out of space but anywho um Picking up where we left off, I have a Fenty lip gloss. I have honestly had this thing for a while now, so I don't know when this is supposed to expire, but yeah. I have so many of these little fragrance cards from when we went into Byredo. I feel like they're all kind of blending together now. We were clearly in there doing our big one because we were smelling all of the scents. And this is really not even all of them. They were like keeping some and throwing them away. And as I was smelling them, I was just tossing them in my purse. So, mm. whatever this is smells good. There was more that I liked, but I just chose the one that I liked the most. Um, I have this bag of rings that I showed y'all in the last vlog, I think. Just all these little random rings i will link these below i know i said i was gonna leave stuff in my last vlog and i didn't end up doing that because i was in a crunch for time i have my airpods i always misplace these in my bag or feel like i've misplaced them usually they be where i left them but i have to keep a glittery case because that's how i can easily find them like if i were to take them to the movies or in my purse and they dropped out i'd be able to see them i've been able to see them like under my car seat because i shine the flashlight and it'll reflect um but yeah i'm able, always able to find these I'm never not gonna have a glitter case just because it's always easy for me to find them here's my other pair of sunglasses that i really need to put back in the car these are from aldo well they're from ross but they're the aldo brand and they're just really cute and simple black sunnies with the gold i feel like those are really plain so i really want to get a couple more pair of sunglasses i have a whole bunch of random stuff in here like a cord i don't really even know what this is to y'all i don't know but this purse was getting a mess and i was starting to get a little bit stressed out by it um i have more trash i have a sonic straw my earrings that my mom literally hijacked i've worn them probably less than five times not even kidding since i got them which is honestly fine i told her she could have these if she would buy me the smaller versions of these because i like to be able to wear these but these will definitely not be what i would grab towards if i had the smaller ones yeah if i had the smaller ones i would definitely be gravitating towards more towards those more on a regular basis so mama yeah i told her she could have these if she buys me those smaller ones so i'm gonna send her that link so she can go ahead and buy those for me um my mama ordered the harim al sultan sultan whatever the hell that oil perfume that went stupid viral on tiktok last year um she ordered that and it came with this little sample how do you open the sample i don't know but she gave me the sample and i'll probably end up ordering this too because i actually really liked it so oh here's what it looks like and she had let me smell it um hello I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm doing the influencer hand and everything. But yeah, she had let me smell it and it smells really good. I don't know how to eh, open this though. So that is a small problem. Oh, wait, do you twist it? Oh, yeah, you twist it, I think. Or maybe not. It has these. Oh, you slide it. I'm so slow. About to break this thing. You just slide it over to the side. I'm about to put a little bit on. It smells really good. I really like it. I feel like. I feel like it has like a very sweet undertone to it and I definitely feel like this is something that everybody would likely like. I have a perfume rollerball. This is, I don't even know what this is because it's all faded. This is one in ones you get from the beauty supply but clearly I really liked it. They have scents that smell similar to like the real thing so I usually will grab like one or two of these whenever I'm at the beauty supply store. Mm -hmm. And I'll roll it like behind my ears and behind my neck. It's just an oil and it also really clings to your hair really well so I feel like... I always need to have one of these in my purse and then I just have another one of these little rings and that's pretty much all that I have in here I think yeah 
got a couple crumbs but oh wait no i lied another fragrance <laughs> Okay, this is the last thing for sure. This is one of them little sample thingies that I showed y'all out of the finery set I got at Target. I'm really making my camera work so hard today. I'm trying to make my camera focus. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. It's the Pistachio Please sample that I got out of the finery set at Target. This smells so freaking good. I got so many compliments. It smells amazing. I layered it with, I'll show you guys what I layered it with, but y'all, I have got to find the full sample of this and they're not selling it online yet for some odd reason and i need them to like yesterday because i uh i let my mom smell it she, she loves it. i'm about to put my essentials back into this bag because most of the stuff i do want to carry but it's just all the trash like i have a canes receipt that was in here that i needed to get out of here and i just needed to see what was in here I just feel like i had so much stuff swimming around in this purse that i didn't really need i also have my id and stuff so i need to make sure i put that back where it needs to go i keep having a clear space off this camera because i refuse to go to best buy and get a freaking memory card and i need to because this is just dumb i'm trying to tell you guys what i ended up layering when i went out that it smelled so freaking good and i would definitely do it again which is why i need to get this in full size so to start out, I use my Whey products, which are, I have them right here because I don't leave them in the bathroom anymore. My children are too curious and these are high. So I started off with this Whey body cleanser and then I used obviously the body scrub, of course, with a base wash and all that. But as far as the scents go, use that. And then I also have been using this Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. Really love this stuff. I will give my final review in the summertime because right now, I personally don't sweat a lot. And I'm not trying to flex. I just don't. And I, yeah, I'm not a super sweaty person. I don't get super musty. Obviously, if I go for a workout and I like, I don't know, keep on the same long sleeve for a long amount of time, then I will get musty. But overall... I'm not usually a musty person. So keep that in mind with my review. You know, she's not having to fight that hard for me to use this. Um, I will say this also has a mature smell that actually reminded me of my grandma. I feel like she had either this exactly or something similar. I don't know if it's been around that long, but it, it instantly reminded me of something that I used that my grandma had. And my grandma, not gonna lie she was she was one in one she was an eight girl for sure so anywho um yeah use the way products and then i have still been using this i really love this and i use this on the girls too sometimes whenever i'm not using like baby oil or baby lotion on them i'll put some of this on them it just has a really good vanilla smell so went in with some of this after my shower and then i went in with this which is the vanilla musk fragrance oil you can find this i think at ulta pretty sure i got this at ulta it smells so good it smells like vanilla it's not going to be anything revolutionary i'm not going to lie to you but it definitely is a great layering scent or if you just want to have one of those days where you're just having like a a skin scent sort of day i would definitely add this to like my neck area and you'll just have a good smell to you it's not gonna like stop crowds or anything like that it's just a good vanilla, vanilla smell okay so we went in with that so we did the way we did the eos or eos whatever it's called the vanilla musk and then what else did i do oh i did this i went in with this i feel like this pairs well with anything that has like a vanilla smell to it this definitely has more of like a i don't know how to explain it it almost smells like sunscreen but like nice sunscreen so i feel like this pairs well with anything that has like a coconut undertone vanilla any of those like warmer scents i feel like this would go really well with and also this is a body oil glitter so i had put this on my chest area since it was a little bit exposed it definitely has the really good scent with it so if you like the soleil blanc um fragrance from tom ford this is a cheaper option it's still not like cheap but it's cheaper than the damn perfume for sure which is definitely something i'm gonna end up buying because i just love it real bad i love it real bad so that's what i ended up putting on and then i topped it off with this which is why the sample is over halfway gone because i sprayed it and was also reapplying it into my neck area and like behind my ears and stuff so i layered all of that and i smelled amazing as you should if you use that many products but you know using products you already know that work together really well will help your smell stay on like i have the sweater over there on my bed and i took a smell of it just earlier today it smells so freaking good so i definitely recommend if y'all are wanting like a summer 
or spring to summer smell that definitely gives me summertime i'm not gonna lie but i'm also not somebody who just wears something just because of the time of year it is I don't follow them type of rules, so maybe I'm not really one of the girls because I'm going to wear whatever I want whenever I want to. So, anyway, you guys, my mom is going to be back before I know it, and I am kind of hungry and want to eat some food before we go and get Froyo. I think the girls might be getting a little hungry, too. So I'm about to eat my leftovers, figure them out something to eat, and chill until my mom gets back, and then we're going to go and have some froyo and just chill for the rest of the afternoon evening i really don't want to do a whole bunch of stuff because i just kind of want to wind down into our night routine I have no clue why I look pink right now and the lighting is bound to be absolutely horrible but y'all it's midnight well almost midnight it's like five or six minutes till midnight and I'm about to get ready to go to bed I just took a shower because I've literally just been laying in my bed wasting time I was also kind of not kind of like mixed in with me wasting time scrolling TikTok I was folding or hanging up our clothes because I did have to place a target order I think I told y'all earlier for more hangers so i did get our clothes hung up so i was productive but i was literally watching the time roll by and at like 10 30 i was like okay now would be a really good time for me to get up and take a shower so i can be in bed at least in time literally did not do that so here we are i feel like if i'm asleep by like 12 30 i will have enough sleep to carry me through the day um what's tomorrow i feel like something's happening tomorrow no tomorrow's just our first day like back into the regular weekly schedule so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here tonight um because i do want to start a new vlog this week i don't really know what will actually end up being vlogged from the week because i'm probably not gonna vlog like any of the kids stuff i might vlog Mila's soccer practice i don't know i'll be just trying to be careful because you know when you vlog anything that's regular people can easily like find it and people are weird so i don't know we'll see but um yeah i just took a shower and oh i want to tell you guys i use this new face wash well new to me face wash is um the curology apparently target sells it now so i saw it and placed a drive up order for it along with like the other random stuff that i needed and um yeah i had seen somebody talk about it on tiktok i've seen it a lot of times both with sponsorships and not sponsored so I just wanted to kind of see what it was hitting on I feel like face washes are pretty safe for me at least I don't really have like as long as they are like nice and have like a nice foam to them I really like them um, <clears throat> so yeah I liked it it was fine it has benzoyl peroxide in it so it will likely help with like discoloration and stuff um, let's see but it says it's good for acne and yeah, I don't feel like I'm going to have any complaints with it. And if I end up liking it, then I can just get it at Target. I do still like the La Roche Posay one. And then I also have used the Super Food Green one. Used to the People, I believe, is the brand. I liked that one too. Um, a face wash is a face wash is a face wash to me personally. I'm not like super picky, like I said. The La Roche Posay one does foam up really, really, really nicely. So if you want like that nice foamy type of sudsy wash then i would go with that one but this one gets pretty sudsy too 
but anyway um i did that i really just been neglecting my skin so i'm trying to get back to getting my skin together especially with summer coming like don't nobody want to have to walk around with a whole bunch of makeup on like i really just want my skin to be acting right and be at its best um for what my skin can be at i also do want to start going to an esthetician just so i can really get extra help with clearing up my skin i don't have bad skin but i do have like problems with my skin that i do want to get help with getting resolved just in general but especially like i said for summertime because i really want the summertime vibes to be like clear skin and lash extensions just because i feel like that's so easy low maintenance i can just throw on like my sunscreen and go um but anywho uh I really feel like I have something else to tell you guys but I'm so freaking tired. I need to be in bed right now. We went and got Froyo and then when we got home we just chilled and I started very very slowly hanging up the clothes or putting them on the hangers but then the girls were just out of their minds so they took their shower and then they chilled. My mom cut their nails for me because I don't cut their nails. I never have. <clears throat> I said I was gonna start doing it but why when she can do it and then they laid down I ordered them happy meals earlier and they were still full from that so they didn't really eat dinner technically they had like a dinner situation um before we went to get froyo but that was really fun my mom was gonna go with us but she didn't end up making it back in time to go which was fine because we didn't stay super long the girls were already starting to get loopy like they do whenever we just <laughs> be having long days and I was like yeah we gonna quit all of the night we gonna wrap this up real quick um yeah like we didn't even do like bedtime story which is i won't say abnormal for us but we more often than not read something like if it's not like a book we read a little story out of their kids bible so we'll get back on our schedule and stuff um tomorrow and then they have picture day and all that stuff coming up so yeah anywho i'm gonna end this vlog because i'm just tired and rambling and i'm sure the quality is not the best right now the lighting looks so bad i literally look pink i don't know why i mean i do have on my pink nightgown but i don't understand how that would affect it like it'd be stuff like this that'd be making me really wanna like what's it called what's it called when you purchase something quickly like impulse buy it'd be making me want to imp impulse buy a new camera like new camera me please i'm getting ready to go to bed i really need to like actually go to bed i need to go get some water because i'm so thirsty and then i need to actually go to bed but i know me and i'd be trying to stay up and scroll tiktok but hopefully i can fall asleep in like the next 30 minutes and then all my alarms already set i already picked up the girls clothes i'm gonna pack down lunch in the morning because they want a hot lunch so i think that's it y'all I think that's it for this vlog my phone is already in sleep mode as it should be because it's literally 12 o'clock 1201 so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i have to freaking sneeze um but yeah make sure you subscribe make sure your notifications are on all of that y'all already know okay make sure you're tuned in and yeah i don't know if i already said it i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog thank you so much for all the love and the constant support i love y'all real bad I love y'all so bad. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll talk to you guys in the next vlog. Bye.